Hi, and welcome to Petersville Farm. With so many types of grow lights, it can be a daunting task to determine which one will best suit your needs. Some factors to consider are the types of plants, plant sizes, location, and so forth. In this video, I will be showing you the two basic setups that I use uh, for my uh, as grow lights I actually use the LED option so the ones I have those I purchased from Walmart so here just shows the example of what that section looks like here so this is one of the light the what I have it's a 17 watt LED light and uh, these LEDs lights they consume far less electricity so this is actually the setup that I've put together and it just helps uh, to lower the cost. This is even more cost effective because I've built the structure myself. And so with this option, um, I get the LED light. It comes all ready to be attached. You can actually attach it on the wall or you can build something like this. Now I chose this option because I actually wanted to do some seedlings um, with a heat mat. So this is what it looks like turned on in terms of the spectrum. Now this is not white light. I believe this one has uh, two spectrums of the white light spectrum, the rainbow colors. So ideally um, the white light options are always um, the best. But for starters, you know, this, this option will work for what I needed to do so one of the things though is with the plants is making sure that they are close in close proximity to the light that's an important factor to make sure that they get an exposure to uh, the required number of intensity of light so I've tested I've done this last year I did have some plants started some plants under the light um, those were some of the herbs that I um, started off with and they did not do too poorly. My, what I, um, my take from it is that the heat condition needed to be better but the lighting was not too bad. So this is my second option and with my second option this works best for the trees, for the taller plants like the citrus plants and so forth. And so this is a bulb that I can um, screw into a, uh, a bulb socket holder. Now this light also utilizes a very small quantity of, it, of electricity. I believe this one is also approximately 17 watts. And in terms of the spectrum, yes, it's not, this actually is 8 watts, not 17 watts. It's 8 watts, so it's even much lower than the uh, first option that I showed and it's not white light it, it has the red and the blue spectrum but you know i believe this will be um effective later on you know i hope to acquire some white light options so as i said i like this setup because this helps with the tall plants with the clamp with the holder with the clamp I can simply adjust it at multiple heights to the plants and get it as, as close to the plants as possible in that case. So, you know, normally I have the citrus such as the lime and the others that are bearing juice this time. So bringing them into the garage or the greenhouse in other areas, this will help them to get that extra needed light in that case. So I have two of them currently and this is what it looks like here turned on. All right, so it's approximately the same spectrum as the option one. The big major difference is being able to um, have this at a greater height, a more adjustable, easier adjustable height. And so it's ideal for uh, this situation. So this helps for the short days. You know, even though the plants will get some light, natural light, you know, I can have this on for a few more hours. <laughs> 